We have uh, people in the UK. Uh, have you heard of uh, Muhammad Hijab who had this debate with David Wood? Very big deal. Uh, what I mean, I, 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 are you familiar with him and what are your thoughts on him if you are familiar? Muhammad Hijab, and this is the first time I speak about him. Uh, we have a saying in Iraq, it's amazing. And it applies to this guy 100%. Okay. Which right. basically means his height is the height of a palm tree. His brain is the brain of a goat. Wow. That, that is one hell of a... I need to get hold of this book of Iraqi <laughs> sayings because uh, they're full of gems. Um, okay. Could you ex ex expand on that? Or is that all you want to say on Muhammad Hijab? That's all I have to say. What else do I say? There's a guy who came at his uh, ex-boyfriend or something. I'm not sure if that's real or not. Sorry, ex-boyfriend. I don't know. Just are you on YouTube? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Google Muhammad uh, YouTube uh, Muhammad Hijab boyfriend or something. It's funny clip. Muhammad Hijab boyfriend. Well, this is um, not something which I would normally Google. Okay, or oh, YouTube boyfriend. Uh, ex-boyfriend something. I've seen it. it. It was a link on YouTube. Hold on. Let me get it. Uh... Ex boyfriend. So, wait, are you, are you, are you saying that he is a. Oh, here we go. It's called. Uh, it's got actually a thousand views. Uh, my message to Muhammad Hijab, M O H A W M A D Hijab. Right. Check that out. My message. Oh, Modine, this guy. No, no, no. This, this guy. Whoa, uh, could, yeah, well, that's very interesting. Uh, I so wait, are you saying that, that that's his boyfriend? Here, yeah, listen to him. Listen to him. Hi, Mohammed Hijab. Remember me? I heard that you've become religious now. Well, I'm sure you still like me. Man, I don't know. And and then he kisses his picture at the end. Look at this, he holds his picture up. Wow. Look, I don't know what's happening, but these guys, their Khalifa was homosexual. They could be homosexual. I don't know. But he's a nobody. Anyway. So, wait. <clears throat> I don't even know how to move on from that. It's a pretty big bombshell you just dropped there. Um, so, okay. When you say he's Khalifa... I'm not accusing him of being gay. Uh, he, look, he's free. If he's gay, and he's free to be gay. <laughs> just don't throw other people off buildings if you're gay. Uh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> I'm not sure how well, to wrap it. I sent you the link. I can't remember who sent it to me. Okay. I was uh, tagged. I was tagged on Twitter. Oh, I, was I see. Tagged on Twitter, and then I saw this. I'm like, what? And then I wrote. I read Muhammad Hijab, and I, I I opened it, and I saw this guy, and I said, Nah, this can't be real. And then when I started kissing the picture, ah. Well, uh, I'm not uh, okay. Muhammad Jab, if you're watching, I'm not saying you are gay or not gay. Uh, I'm not saying anything. I'm, just, I'm not trying to whatever. Well, it's free to be gay. You, it's mate, free if, to if, you, if that's your thing, bro, more, more power to you. More, more power to you. Um, Be gay like, like your Caliph Omar. Oh, so, so you, so you believe that the the, the Caliph Omar was a uh, homosexual? Of course, he was gay. Of course, he was gay. Could you elaborate? This is a. Uh, he was absolutely addicted to anal uh, anal sex. The father-in-law of Prophet Muhammad. Um, of course. These are the famous uh, sayings of, of, of his caliph. I don't care less about the sectarian uh, nonsense. Our caliphs were gay. Am I Khalifa too? Would it Omar say that I'm the caliph over Tawhidi and the whole Muslim Ummah? Khalas, he's my caliph. He was gay. I'm speaking about my own caliph. Wow. Uh, okay, so I'm just taking this in. Um, and he was brave. I'm, I'm not. I'm not attacking. I'm not attacking Omar. 
I'm not attacking Omar for being gay. I'm saying you are such a homophobe. Brave, a brave to be openly gay in a society. Good on him. I encourage him. Inshallah, all of the gay Muslims come out and say, uh, we follow Omar. I don't care. I, I, I don't care. Khamenei could be, there are sayings that he is. Wow. I'm not sure. Maybe. I'm not sure. There are <laughs> rumors. I'm not sure. Not 100%. Okay. Uh, this is uh, amazing. Uh, okay. So, okay. I'm going to, okay. Look, look. Many Sunnis right now are, uh, you know they, they want to you know I, I i don't know what they want to do but they're saying uh imam imam tohidi you're playing the sectarian card again you're, you you hate umar you're just going to go after him and slander him call him gay and this is a very below the belt kind of tactic uh what do you have to say about this look this is a very cheap uh, way of, like i said very simple way of of uh, discrediting me I'm telling you he was gay. You say he's not. Okay, khalas, I have my evidences. You have your evidence. Goodbye, goodbye. It's as simple as that. So, I mean, I mean, how do you evidence for him being gay? I mean, is there like a... Yeah, no, real, real, real evidence. I can I can uh, send it to you. Not a joke. Seriously? Like a, yes. what, in a hadith or something? Yes, in, 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 uh, in a book, a very famous book called Al-Aqd al-Farid. Al-Aqd al-Farid. So, by al andalusi write it down al aqd al farid by al andalusi is it, it, oh wow okay this is the first, al, al aqd al farid there there sunni sunni t scholar he says it i don't i'm only quoting aqd al farid i'll send it to you if you like later on and yeah. you know he's not a real muslim he's uh, all of these nonsense 